we're gonna jump in right today to this. This is Abigail's 10th heart event. She's in the caves, apparently. Hmm? Sounds like a bat. Huh. Eh, it's just one, it's fine. That is... That is a lot of bats. Wow. You alright there? You wanna say, are you okay here? Caffeine, I'm alright. You know, I've been practicing my swordsmanship for a while. Well, I decided today would be the day I venture into the caves. But I got scared. I couldn't do it. Well, with that many bats, I don't really blame you. I guess I'm not as tough as I thought. Um, you wanna say, I get scared too. I guess when you have something to lose, it's normal to be afraid. You need to change the music. Caffeine, I, I really like you, and not just as a friend. You know that, right? I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but I can't keep it in anymore. I felt this way for a long time. I didn't know I felt this way about other girls, until I met you. Oh. In the caves. Meanwhile, let's go see somebody else. <laughs> that was very nice, Elliot. I mean, I assumed you could play since you have a piano. Ah, I thought someone was there. Uh, I think you can say anything you want here. Um, I'm not sure if either of them affect his, the relationship, so I'm gonna say that was wonderful. Happy face. Thank you. I'm not very good, but it's fun to play. Sounded pretty good to me. Of course, I can't play any musical instrument, so... What's wrong? I've been working day and night to try and finish my book. It's been driving me insane, Caffeine. An occasional tune is the only recreation I allow myself. There's just too much work to do. My bank account's starting to run dry. Sometimes I wish I could throw it all away and become a farmer like you. Um, I think here you can say anything you want, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say come live on the farm with me. Seriously? It sounds wonderful, but I can't give up on my novel. It's already halfway done. <sighs> Sorry I'm complaining like this. I just need someone to talk to now and then. Don't we all? Sweet. Alright, the next heart event. Yep, this is at Penny's place. Ugh, it's so dirty in here. Caffeine, um, sorry that it's such a mess. I was about to clean up. You'll help me? You really mean it? Okay, you can get started over there. I'll clean the kitchen. Uh-oh. What do you think you're doing? Stop it, I had everything just the way I like it. Mom, the house is a total mess. Caffeine and I were just trying to tidy things up a bit. Were you at the saloon just now? You smell like beer. I 
It's none of your damn business where I go. It is my business. I don't want you destroying yourself. Don't you realize your choices have an effect on me? Stop being so selfish. Selfish? I put a roof over your head and clothes on your back and you call me selfish? You ungrateful little... <laughs> yeah, this is awkward. Um, I think I should probably go. You better go. I'm sorry you had to see this kid. She's a nice young lady. But I don't want you telling others to clean up my house. It's embarrassing. You understand? Yes, mother. Without the, you can't, you can't include the uh, sarcastic remarks there. Oh, another penny one. Caffeine, you came at a good time. I'm just about finished cooking a new recipe I invented. What is it? Let me just finish up real quick. Okay. Uh. Here, give this a little taste. Of course, I just hail it, of course. Oh god, I just turned green. <laughs> uh, you want to lie to her to get the most uh, points. You really mean it? Thank you. It's such a relief to hear that. I've been working so hard on this recipe and I'm really proud of it. Hey, since you're the first person to try it, I'm going to name this one Chilla de Caffeine. Well, thank you. Um, so how about we watch a movie or something? Oh, how sweet. Hey, look, it's George. Ugh, I just can't reach it. If only I could get up from this infernal chair. Hello, sir. I'm here to assist. Thanks, miss. It happened 30 years ago. I was working in the coal mines. We were near the end of our shift, but there was one last seam that needed to be broken up. I went in there aiming to set off a stick of dynamite, but my foot slipped into a crack and I dropped it. The dynamite exploded on impact. Next thing I remember, I was lying in the hospital and they told me I'd never walk again. So there you have it. You probably figured I was just too old to walk. Well, I'll have you know that I'd be sprier than a spring chicken if I hadn't been in that accident. Hmm. You've been really nice to me, miss. I appreciate it. When you're old, you start to forget that anyone cares about you. Oh, poor George. Meanwhile, outside... Marnie, we can't. If word got out, it could undermine my position of authority in the town. You understand, don't you? You care too much about your job, Lewis. There are other things to life, you know. But yes, I understand. I guess we'll have to keep us a secret. <laughs> Except for I'm hiding behind the truck. <laughs> Yeah! Caffeine, you overheard everything, didn't you? Uh, in this case, the secret and tell everyone is actually the exact same, res like, a, a friendship response. So you can actually choose either one that you uh, want. I think in this case I'm going to go with I'm going to keep it a secret, but you don't have to. Thank you, Caffeine. I won't forget this. Why were you hiding there anyway? Scurry, 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 scurry. Run away! And they just jump into a bush. <laughs> it is a great day to have a picnic in the middle of the rain. Oh, caffeine! It's a perfect it's perfect timing that you showed up. 
I brought the children on a little field trip into the countryside. You know all about life in the country, right? So I was thinking, could you be my guest speaker for today? Uh, you want to say I'd love to. Great. Let me just call the children over. Jas, Vincent, may I have your attention, please? I have a very special guest here to talk to you today, our very own local farmer, Caffeine. She has first-hand experience living in the countryside, so she knows all about the valley's natural resources. Can anyone tell me what a natural resource is? Jas? A natural resource is a material source of wealth that occurs in a natural state and has economic value. Very good, that's worth two star points, Jas. Yes! Okay, now let's give caffeine our full attention. Now you can choose whatever you want. So um, I'm gonna say country life is all about farming. And um, something about animals, I think. Yeah, air and grass are perfect for raising animals. That's good. Yes, Vincent? Farmer Caffeine, can I put a saddle on one of your cows and ride it into town? I want to be a real cowboy. Vincent, behave yourself. Miss Caffeine makes her living working on the farm. It's not a playground. Well, that's probably enough for today. You two run along and play. <laughs> Quick, chess is gonna go away. Dude, I wanna ride a cow. Sounds like a lot of fun. I wanna pet a cow, one of those really fluffy ones. It's a little work to take care of these kids, but I don't really mind. It, I enjoy seeing them learn and hopefully I'll help them grow up to be good people. Would you ever want to be a parent, Caffeine? Uh, you either want to say I want a big family or uh, it's a natural urge. Um, anything else and you will either not get any response to the relationship or you'll actually lose points. I'm going to say it's a natural urge. Yes, the urge to care for something innocent and helpless. It makes sense that we'd feel that. I don't want kids, actually. But thanks for, uh, thanks for bringing that up. No natural urge either. Well, I'm glad you showed up, Caffeine. I think the kids had a great time. And our last heart event for today. Oh no. Demetrius, I didn't tell you to get tomatoes. I said to get fruit. He's so confused. I don't understand. Tomatoes are fruits. Engineers, man. Engineers. When a normal person says they want fruit, they never mean tomatoes. It doesn't matter what the specific the scientific classification is. Caffeine, I'm glad you're here. You'll be able to put this argument to rest. How would you classify a tomato? A tomato is a vegetable, even though that it is scientifically a fruit. Ma engineers, dude, I, I worked with them. I am a scientist myself. Really, I figured a farmer would know the correct answer. Just because it is actually a fruit? No. I just want you to understand my point of view. It's hard for me to know what, exactly what assumptions I should make when you tell me something. Demetrius, stop being so engineery. But I'll try to get better at it. Aw, how sweet. Thanks for your help, Caffeine. I didn't do anything. <laughs> All right, hey guys, this is Caffeine Gaming. And, well, this is a special episode that I wanted to cut short on all of the, you know, uh, heart events for a very specific reason. And that's because we've got a different type of cutscene that I want to show off today. Uh, if you go ahead and check on, not the collections, the community center here, you can see the very last thing we're here is actually missing the apples. This is the bulletin board. We have nothing else. We just have the apples. And I do actually have the apples to deliver today so i'm going to be doing that and showing that off additionally a uh, real quick note here um the seller as you can see here actually has these little stars on them apparently what this basically does is it ages stuff that you put inside it so if you put in um i don't have anything in here uh <laughs> if you put like cheese or booze in any of those like the booze that you create in your shed i have no doubt at that point um you, it actually goes up in star levels and sells for no more, but it takes a while to do. So additionally, yes, you can actually put your plants along the side. You can see here that you create your own little dirt square, I guess, through the tile. Um, 
I actually am very close to completing uh, the collections. I've got one more um, type of stuff and then I've got rabbit's foot, the ancient fruit, and the pomegranate apparently, which I sh need to ship apparently. I guess I have sold them and not shipped them. Um, additionally, there's a couple new creatures that I have. The first one hatched this morning. There's this little void chicken right here. I named him Zoo. I'm not sure if that's a good name or not. Uh, additionally, uh, Bun Bun here is sad. I'm not entirely sure why he's sad. They always get sad when it rains. I'm guessing I need to close the gate uh, on rainy days. Actually, let's, let's do that. See if that makes him happy. Um, I don't know if Bun Bun's a good name, but additionally, we have a new sheep that needs a name. And uh, we're going to name the pig... Timothy, there we go. Uh, yeah, all my animals are sad because it's raining and I think I left the gate open last night and they didn't like that. Um, <laughs> that's fine. But we do have the new void chicken and we do have the new rabbit. Um, so they need some names if you want to name them. And I will name them next episode. Uh, but this time, let me throw the pomegranate in here before I leave. Yeah, I can actually make coffee. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a new... I think this is a new thing. Uh, is the coffee bean... Um, you put five of them into a keg and you get a cup of coffee out of it. So you actually don't have to purchase coffee anymore, which is fantastic. Um, this is probably not the best way to go to get to the community center. Because <laughs> otherwise we're just going to have to walk further. It is raining today, which is fantastic. But I want to show off this. Um, the community center being completed actually opens up some new post content uh, that I have never seen before. So I'm super excited to show this off with you guys and experience some of this new stuff. Let's go deliver these apples. Excuse me, little guy. Thank you. All right, what do we get for this? For this bundle, we get another heater. Not that I really need that. Ah, there's Junimos everywhere. What do you have to say for yourselves? The last bundle. Farewell, caffeine. Hey. So yeah, now we've got all six stars. So look at them all. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, they're waving at us. Bye. Bye. The Junimos have returned to the spirit world. So yeah, we have officially resurrected the community center. Uh, that's pretty cool. I don't know if we'll be using this place for anything in, you know, like specific storyline wise or anything like that, but it looks pretty nice. It's pretty cool. Um, I like how they put food in the pantry over here. <laughs> uh, so that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and head out of here. Wow, look at that. Isn't that pretty? That is awesome. It's all cleaned up. Yeah, they've been pretty nice to, to do that for us. So with that taken care of, um, I'm going to take care of a few things. And I will be right back to show you something else. All right. Welcome back. I needed to get to the next day here. It says, Dear Caffeine, everyone around town has been talking about your great generosity lately. Apparently packages have been appearing in people's houses containing items they posted about years ago in the community center bulletin. And the packages are all addressed from your farm. Thanks for going out on out of your way to do something like that. All of us in town are delighted. So, um, yeah, basically you complete the center. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Stop that. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and collect all of this wild honey. It is Elliot's birthday, so we'll be dropping by to get him some stuff. And you can see here, my cranberries are coming in great today. Um, I have several boosters on that actually up my growing time. So, or lower my growing time, I guess, technically. Let's go open up my uh, animals. Look at all my cranberries. This is great. And I can actually do anything I want with the apples now. So... Really? I missed the apple? That's unusual. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. Okay. Missed the pomegranate too. Do I not have the magnet ring on? I do. That's weird. Let's go ahead and let all of our little creatures out. There we go. Hey, you guys. Come on out. Do your thing. Let's see. So this is my current... Um, greenhouse. I haven't filled everything up yet. You can see I'm collecting coffee beans 
and uh, that's an ancient um, plant. <laughs> It will produce ancient fruit, so I need to take care of that. Yeah, I've got a lot of beer I need to collect. So you can see the farm's doing pretty well at the moment. But, okay. So once you complete the community center, I believe the next time you load up, you will get that letter. So that's fantastic. Uh, there's something else that happens, too, once I collect all this corn. Actually, there's a few things that happen. The first thing is... Uh, once the community center is completed, Pierre's won't be closed anymore. It will always be open. So that's pretty cool. Um, just throwing that out there. Let's go ahead. We're just going to throw everything in here for today. I think I threw pomegranate in there. So my crafting, my collections, I just need two more things. No big deal. I don't know. I'm assuming that Mr. Fuzz Fuzz over yonder will uh, drop the feet, but I'm not sure. So let's go... Uh, Go over here to the right. Ah, here we go. Look at it, everybody's like celebrating. And there's balloons, there's Marnie and the mayor and uh, Vincent and Jas is over here. And Evelyn is hanging out. Yeah, this happens the day after you finish the community center. Uh, Gus is in the kitchen, Pam's at the table here. And Jody and Pierre and Caroline, and it looks like Robin down there. And that's, um, is that Gunther? And Emily's looking in the thing down there. Here's George and Clint, and Willie's looking, of course, he's looking at the fish tank. Demetrius is hanging out in the office, and Clint's going down over to look at the, um, little furnace down there, the boiler room. Hey, what's up, Mary Lewis? I'm not sure how you did it, Caffeine, but the community center has never looked better. You've done Pelican Town a great service. Everyone in town is pleased. I gave gifts to little spirits. <laughs> That's great. As a way of saying thank you, I'd like to present you with this town's greatest honor, the Stardew Hero Award. You've earned it. Woo! I'm a local legend, yeah! You received a Stardew Hero Trophy. Grumble, grumble. Who is that? Sales have been plummeting. Where is all my where have all my customers gone? Oh, it's Morris. What? All my customers here? This isn't good. <laughs> How does it feel, Morris? Huh? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> sounds the old-fashioned way. Let's be reasonable here. Come on, guys. It's of no consequence. I'll just run a 75% off sale, and all of my customers will crawling back to me, begging for forgiveness. You'll see. No, not this time. Gather round, everyone. It looks like pretty much everybody. I remember when I first moved to Pelican Town. This building was active and vibrant. We worked together to make the town a better place. There was a real sense of community. George, you always used to do the crossword puzzle while sipping coffee in the community kitchen, remember? The good old days. <laughs> Emily, you wove that custom banner for the Stardew Valley Fair. I remember you working on that for years. It, it was a lot of fun. Willie, me? <laughs> Remember when you were, when your little crab experiment got out of hand? Hehe, <laughs> and I do. We showed up one morning and the place was crawling with them. Oh my god. But Gus saved the day with a brilliant idea. A crab leg feast for the entire valley. I still dream of that garlic butter. <laughs> oh. You see, everyone, our community is what makes Pelican Town special. When Jojo Mart came into town, we lost sight of that. But now, thanks to Caffeine, we have a second chance. I'm asking that you join me in boycotting Jojo Mart. We have the power to reclaim our old way of life. Who's with me? I've lived here too long to see this town go to ruin. You can count me in. Oh wow, George is actually like joining in. Ooh. 
I'm done for. He's running away. Get him. Take him out. All right, so the community center is back up and running. Morris and his Jojo Mark cronies were never heard from again. So yeah, the community center is now up and running. I'm not sure if that changes anybody's daily routine. It actually might. Pierre's is gonna be open. Um, Shane is actually gonna go to work. I'll definitely be going to the saloon tonight. Oh yeah, nobody cares about you. He's gonna be going to work today, but um, ultimately he will start not working here anymore. Uh, if I go over here, you can see that, yeah, Jojo Mart has been terminated. The building has fallen to ruin. We need to take it over, quite frankly. Uh, it's out of business. Um, so you can't go here anymore. The little lady that works up front, we never know who she is, but she's um, she's gone. Now, I want to show, this still happens. Uh, so Shane is shuffling over yonder here. Where are you going? You, you can't go in there. Hey, dude. Dude. I can't. Yeah, so he goes to work in quotes today, and we get this little uh, Stardew hero trophy. Oh yes, I have an iridium rod now. So this looks pretty cool. Um, can I put this down anywhere? Oh, I can. So yeah, that's all it is. It's um, it's pretty cool. Pick it up and take it with you. Um, can I put it in the middle of the square? Cause that'd be hilarious. I'll take it home. Put it next to my mantle, I guess. Um, but yeah, so that is the completion of the community center. Now from here, I understand that there's a few new things that can happen that I've never experienced. So obviously I will be showing those off uh, whenever that actually happens. Don't know what's going on over there. I'm gonna put this, oh, oh right, the mantle place is over here now. I can't really place it on top of things. Um, hmm. I'm gonna put it right in the middle of my bedroom so everybody remembers. All right. What is going on over here? I heard noise. <laughs> Hopefully all my animals are out and about. Look at them all. They're doing all right. They're looking better today. That's good. Um, oh no, we actually got a uh, large milk from, when you get a large milk, the next day you don't actually get any milk from your animals. So just so you know, that's how that works. Uh, but everybody looks like they're doing pretty good. Let's go inside here. And I do have a pig now, so I have completed the whole getting truffles thing. Uh, essentially, yeah, outside there will be random truffles lying around. Um, there's the pig, where's the truffles? Usually in a location he's been. Uh, I'm not seeing anything right now, but he'll keep digging. Why are you all the way down here, buddy? I don't know. The little creepy chicken needs a, um, it needs a name. So <laughs> help me name the little creepy chicken. But the farm's turning out pretty well. So we've gone ahead and completed that. Uh, we still have a little bit more time to go before, um, you know, we actually do the next big thing, which is to be rated, have your farm rated. Um, I did just hit, let's see here. I did just hit millionaire. So we do have that. I haven't completed the museum collection yet. Um, and then I guess the um, local legend is not an actual achievement in game. But we do get the millionaire. Let's go see what hat that is before we quit here. We still have a couple more things that I do need to take care of. Um, I want to get the, is it the mill? Uh, which I qu haven't quite gotten yet. Um, purely the only reason I haven't gotten one of those yet is because I needed some cloth and I didn't have any sheep at the time. I now have sheep and I now have rabbits and they both give me wool. So I can actually get the cloth that I require to actually do that. And I think I'm a couple short still, so hats. Let's see here. Ah, uh, we get a bowler hat if we reach the 1 million. So that's pretty cool. And then we get the cool cap for the 25 or 250k. So that's pretty cool. I think we've seen all of these otherwise. So we have a few hats. I don't know, I'll probably purchase those eventually. I am saving up some money right now to get 
the once the cranberries are actually growing, I'm saving up my money to actually get the catalog from Robin so we can actually look at all the furniture. And I'm pretty excited to show off the furniture. Um, I think it's going to be really cool to go through and see. I haven't looked at that yet, so I don't know what it's going to, you know, what's going to be in there. Uh, you know, it says every piece of furniture, but um, I haven't seen every piece of furniture, so I don't really know what that means. Um, and now I don't actually have to go visit the gypsy lady anymore because, well, I have all the community center stuff done. And the button's actually gone. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty excited to have be able to see that with you guys. So for next time, uh, we're going to be doing more hard events. There's a few more that I have not done um, that we do want to take a look at, but we'll get there. Additionally, once the new content becomes available, uh, you know, the post-game stuff, it's not, well, I guess, I guess, I guess it is technically post-game stuff. Um, I do want to show that off, so I will be. Um, we haven't seen the whole grading thing uh, with um, a very specific person that I don't really want to mention if you've never seen it. Uh, we'll definitely be showing that off. I'm pretty excited once that comes around. So that's all coming up and that should be around next time. Uh, so no worries. We're not quite done yet when it comes to social links. Um, we're, well, this is, I guess isn't a social link. Uh, heart events, we're not quite done yet. We still, we're getting really close on a few people's 10th heart events. Um, we've got a few people getting very close as well. I'm close to Elliot. I apologize if you really like Elliot. He's really hard for me to find since I never go down to the beach. And then we have a bunch of people that we really haven't been making friends with, so I need to start working on them a little bit more. Uh, but once I get these folks up to 10, from what I understand, once they get to 10, their hearts don't degrade anymore, so they'll just be there, you know, stationary the entire time. And that's actually great because then I don't have to worry about them. Uh, so I'll be going ahead and doing that and then focusing a little bit more on these other folks. Krobus, I think you can give him... I think he likes wild horseradishes if you want to give those to him if you have any left over. I don't know what Caroline likes. Sandy likes flowers, so every time I go to the desert, I've been bringing her some sort of wild flower. The dwarf likes dwarf scrolls, uh, if you have any of those hanging around. Vincent likes grapes, which is great because it's great growing season. Clint likes emeralds, I believe, so you can give those to him. Um, I have no idea what Pierre likes. Willie likes a variety of seafood. Uh, Jas likes cakes, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure what Robin likes. Elliot, I've just been giving him some random small stuff, so um, that's why it's taking so long. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know in the comments what, how you're feeling. Um, have you completed the community center? Have you seen any of the new stuff? Don't spoil it too much in the comments. Um, just have you seen it? Do you appreciate it? Did you like the fact that JoJo Mart closed down? Uh, did you side with JoJo Mart? Because that's actually a little different. You can actually do the whole JoJo Mart thing instead if you prefer. Um, and if you did, which one do you like? I think JoJo Mart, if you do that one, you just give them like a shit ton of money. Um, which I don't know. I don't. I just don't do that. But um, let me know what you think and I will see you next time. I'm hoping we'll get to see some of that post-game content soon.